What is good guys? Welcome back to another tutorial. Okay, in today's tutorial, I will teach you guys what is percentage. Okay, and percentage is used in many different languages. It is used in Python, Lua, which is the language we're using right now, um, Java, and it's also used in C++. It's pretty much used in all coding languages, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so we're gonna open up a script, so we can show, so I can show you a couple of examples, and we can talk about them together. Okay, so pretty much percent that is our symbol, and this is basically called a modulo operator. So modulo operator. Okay, and this is just what it's called in coding. Okay, this you can't call this percentage, but this is the proper name, and of course no one's gonna call it by its actual name. So I just call it percent, but it's modulo operated, and that's because of how it is used. Okay, the process of this is basically um, <clears throat> to divide the two numbers together and then get the remainder. Okay, so I will write this down. The first step of this is basically get the two numbers and divide them. So it's basically dividing right now. It's basically two numbers dividing each other. That's the first step. Get the two numbers and divide them. Okay? And then the next step is just to return the decimal points. Okay? Or just return the remainder, which is just the decimal points. So return the remainder dash decimal points. Okay, so that's pretty much the process. And if you guys understand it so far, then you basically know how to use it. And, you know, you can stop the video right there. But, you know, after you read this and you realize what it's doing, what's the use of this? You know, this seems kind of useless. You know, why, why do people use it? <laughs> it seems like it's pointless. Okay. And the most common usage of this is for divisibility. Now, I don't know if this is the only usage of it, but this is definitely one thing that is probably the most common use for the modulo operator, okay? And pretty much if you want to try this out to find the visibility of something, it would look like, let's just get a variable local test this number, or we'll, we'll call the variable that test this number, and we'll say, let's say the number is like 50, okay? And then it would be in an if statement if you want to check the divisibility in Lua. Okay, so it would be like if test this number, okay, which is 50, this just means 50, okay, percent, and then we'll say 5, okay. And, you know, right at this point, this is basically going to divide the two numbers. So 50 divided by 5, and then it's going to return just the decimal points. And the decimal points is going to be 0 at this point. So we have to just say equals 0. Because if it does equal 0, the decimal points equal 0, then we'll say it is divisible. This number is divisible by 5. Okay, there you go. So if this number divided by 5 has no decimals, then it is divisible by 5, else This is not divisible. Divisible by 5. Okay. So, yeah. There you go. And we'll just test this out right now. And, of course, we know that this number is going to be divisible. So, let's run this. And, as we can predict, this number is divisible. This number is divisible by 5. There you go. There you go. Alright. So, there you go. And with this information, we can even find if a number is even or odd. Okay, so let's see if we want to check the divisibility of 2. Okay, so if it is divisible by 2. So if test this number, percent 2, has no decimal points, then this number is divisible by 2. Okay, and so that basically means if it's divisible by 2, it's automatically assumed as an even number. So even... And then if it's not divisible by 2, then it is odd. Okay, so let's check if 50 is divisible by 2. And, you know, if you guys don't know if it's divisible, then I'm disappointed. But it is even. Wait, what? Uh, 
Wait, what? What is going on? What is going on here? I put even. Okay, something is. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I've never seen that before. All right, we're gonna stop our game. It's been it's supposed to print even, but it's printing that this number is divisible by five, which is not what we typed out in our print statement. But let's just rerun the game. That's very interesting. Okay, so yeah, we'll rerun the game just to refresh the script. Now it says even. Okay, because fifty is even by two. Okay, it's divisible by two, and it has no decimal points, which is why it says equals equals zero because it's checking for zero decimal points. Okay, now if we do 30, we can check, it's going to say even again. It says even again. If we do 29, it's going to say odd. Okay, something's going wrong here. Why does it say this? Alright, um, I'm very lost. Why is it saying uh, even? Okay, let's rerun this. It should say odd in the output. Okay, now it says odd. So the I don't know something's weird with disabling and, and enabling a script, but it says odd. Okay, so when it's twenty nine, it says odd. When it's uh two, I mean when this number is divisible by two, it is even. Okay, so this number right here is definitely odd. That's why it printed odd. And uh, usually when you disable and re-enable the script, it's supposed to reset the loop. But somehow it's just breaking, okay? For some reason it's saying odd. Even though we change the number, we'll change this to like 26. It should say even. But it's key, it keeps saying odd, you know, it's kind of broken. Um, yeah, but it, as you guys can see, you can check the divisibility. It works perfectly, okay? This works perfectly. <clears throat> and if you say if it's not equal to zero, then it's not divisible. And these are just going to be opposite of each other. Okay, that means opposite. So this means if it doesn't equal zero. So if the decimal points is not zero, okay? Because if there's no def decimal points, then that means it's an, an, an exact number. It's not like 3.22, you know, all that stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Um, This is the most common usage of the modulo operator. And I hope that you guys enjoyed and found this video very helpful. I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys.